Hello and welcome. I'd like to announce the production of a new video series for my members. Four years ago, I highlighted the need for a half-bridge driver board to drive a Tesla coil. I developed the board and made it available to purchase. The board I did build was only using conventional high and low side signals. At the time, I pointed out that IC chips already exist containing this functionality. Example is the international rectifier IR2183 from Infineon. The main difference between these chips and my developed board is that they all work with the bootstrap functionality. This is a high side driving topology where a calculated stored capacitance per cycle of frequency is switched to the load. On paper it looks very simple, but the devil is in the details. In my research over the years I found hardly any practical source to help to get them working with Tesla coils. Note, the main purpose of use for them is motor driving and power inverters. They all work in low frequency. Most of the ICs are restricted to a maximum of 400 kHz. The task is to find the best driving possibilities to achieve your goal for either output voltage on your load or current. This will be an extensive test with a performance chart. Diagrams will be provided for all circuits and built on a prototype board or a solderless breadboard. I will also include the solution for the first hurdle, the signal source. Here I developed a logical high and low signal board which is providing a clean signal from any signal source. The circuit on the left, it is working down to 2 volt and a current consumption of 2 mA. This can be built for a couple of bucks or quits. On a breadboard in the middle, you currently see a half bridge configuration as on the solder board prototype on the right. Now let's have a look and go over the details. So I will test three chips from International Rectifier or Infineon and one chip from own semiconductor. Here on the board you see some of the chips I will test. The most common chip is the IR2110, but there is an alternative like the NCP5181, which will surprise you. Currently mounted on the solder, solder prototype board on the right. Here you can see it on the right is um, currently the DIP8, which is the NCP5181 mounted. So what load is used? Because driving a motor is not the purpose of the test, I use two loads which are common for coilers. First, the Tesla coil. So this is a picture, quick. I used... That's the Tesla coil. And um, it's a Tesla coil I used already 10 years ago and that is perfect for this test. And then I will use, as a second, I will use a flyback transformer. which was designed and purchased for high voltage projects. So what are the age bridge drivers compared with? Well, you might guess it. The way you normally would start driving your Tesla coil from solid state with a standard 50 ohm signal, transistors, and driver with and without MOSFETs amplifier stage. Here we need to understand that our goal should lead to use the correct technology. It's not a way of saying this is good, this is bad, but for the purpose we have to select the correct technology. There are drawbacks for any of these technologies based on the requirement as just said. This evaluation test will help you find the right choice for your application. So these videos will be available at the end of this week for basic and full members only. And I start with part one, which will be the IR2110. Sign up for the new basic membership for only $4.99 per month and watch these videos. You can get up to 50% reduction as an existing guest member, but only until the end of the month. So hurry. Thank you very much and goodbye.